Hey, here he is, superstar. How are you doing? Good. Good. Fantastic. So, um, Ruben, you're going to play a song for us today, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. But before you do that, I just want to have a little chat with you, if that's yes. okay. Yeah. Because because mm -hmm. along with Spike, you have completed not one, not two, but uh, three levels this year. Which, which which levels have you completed? Uh, this year. Yeah, this year. Uh, S2 and S3. S3. And J4. And J4. You did, yeah, you did uh, J4 before that as well, didn't you? So yeah. really, really good stuff. And you, you started working on Senior 4 now, haven't you, with Jimmy? Yes. Cool. So let's um, ask you a few questions then, Ruben. How old are you, first of all? 11. 11. And how long have you been playing guitar? Two years. Two years? And well, two, it'll be two years next January. Right, so not even two years yet, and you're on senior four already. That's incredible. Um, what inspired you to start taking guitar lessons? Well, I wanted to play some cool songs because I saw some songs online and I liked them. And my that was my friend, and he played guitar, and he inspired me as well. Oh, fantastic! And um, the songs that you saw that you thought, oh, that sounds good. Can you can you remember what they were? Uh, there was "Lemon to a Knife Fight." Turn, Cheat to Tongue, Moving to You Not by the Wombats, those ones. They're, oh, okay. they're all guitar ones. All, all guitar ones. Fantastic. Sounds good. Um, so is that the kind of music you like to listen to then? Yeah, rock, mainly guitar songs. Fantastic. And do you have a favourite guitar player? Yeah, um, Matthew Murphy, Murphy for Wombats. He's a ah, guitar. okay. I'm... I know of the Wombats, but I don't know enough about them to know the names of the individual members. So I should I shall check them out in a bit more uh, detail then and listen carefully to his to his guitar playing. Fantastic. And what's your ultimate playing goal then, Ruben? Now, maybe to be in a band. I don't I don't really know. Maybe to be in a band. You don't know yet. You're still no. you're still young, mind you. I think I was twelve when I when I joined my first proper band. So yeah, you've only got a year or so to go. Fantastic. It's a really good good goal to have, for sure. And I know, I mean, this was a very long time ago now, wasn't it? We did that uh, rock school thing. Yeah, it was last year. Last, not this summer gone, last summer gone. And I would have loved to have done something similar again this year. So uh, as soon as we can, we'll do something like, like, like that again, because that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? All right, so what do you like best about learning guitar with us? So we can play, we play a group, we play as a group. But we couldn't do that because of coronavirus. But when we did, it was fun, and it's got a great method. Like it teaches you how to read music at the same time as playing all the good skills. Yeah, it's very complete, isn't it? The method. And how often do you practice? I do forty minutes of practice every day from Monday to Thursday. I, I take a break off. Friday and then I do extra on Saturday and Sunday like 50 to an hour. Oh wow so six out of seven days a week and you're doing some good practice time there aren't you? Well that again that's one of the things that would explain how you've been able to do as well as you've done this year. Well done. Really really good. Um, can you uh, think of something that you've really struggled with? Probably playing the bar chords. Ah, yes, that's, yeah, that's come up before, hasn't it? And we said it's like, yeah, you, you're a beginner, you do all the beginner stuff and you think, great, yeah, I've mastered those chords, I can play all this stuff, and then suddenly you're hit with bar chords and it's almost like you're a beginner again, isn't it, when you start learning yeah. those? So, so how did you overcome that? Well, I'm still trying the F bars because I struggle with the bars on the first fret because like, it's hard to push down. But any other bar on second to, like, 15th fret I can play. Excellent. Yeah, it, it's definitely harder down at the bottom of the neck, isn't it? Because there's a wider gap between between the frets. So I normally recommend, well, doing what exactly what you've been doing, really starting off with them higher up the neck where the frets are closer together. And then you just gradually work on that stretch. So, yeah, that's really, really good. Um, uh, it's not really the stretch. It's just I can't push my fingers down hard enough. Ah, it's getting that strength. Yeah, well, again, that's something that will come, you know, if you start higher up on the frets and then gradually move move down. Um, and, you know, you're only 11. 
don't forget, yeah, I think I was only just playing bar chords at 11 and I remember struggling with them too. So, all right, Ruben, if you could give one piece of advice to our other guitar students as a, a master guitar player who has completed three levels this year, what would it be? Mm, slow it down first. <laughs> hey, slow it down. If I had a penny for every time I said slow it down to people, I'd be very, very rich. Yeah, you're absolutely right, yeah? Because if you want to play fast, you've got to play well slowly first, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Was that something you kind of found out the hard way? Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Fantastic. All right, um, Ruben. And again, because you are one of our kind of star students this year, I'm also going to be sending you a little something, um, a little gift, gift voucher to say well done um, for all your hard work and progress this, this year so you can buy yourself some, some cool guitar stuff or music related stuff. You are welcome. What are you going to perform for us today? Day Tripper by the Beatles. Hey, what a classic. Fantastic. So I'll let you get yourself set up and when you're ready, you can take it away. Thank you. 